9,000 years ago, early man didn't have the luxury of the Ambassador Bridge, the Blue Water Bridge, or even the Windsor Tunnel to get into Canada. But what they did have was a land bridge between what is now Alpena and southwest Ontario called the Alpena Amberley Land Ridge. That ridge is now beneath the center of Lake Huron. But as U of M Professor John O'Shea tells us, there's still an archaeological feast that lies 100 feet below. This is an area that uh, was above water for that time period and then was submerged and has never been exposed again. So it presents at least the potential of almost a Pompeii-like situation where we have materials preserved pretty much left the way ancient hunters would have left them. So what we've been looking for then are structures that are associated with caribou hunting, uh, which would have been herds migrating across this, uh, this ridge and then also the environmental data that goes with it. So we're getting a, both a model of what the environment looked like and then hopefully also the archaeological sites, the, the remains uh, that the hunters would have, would have produced. Uh, to date, we've been pretty successful in finding these stone structures. Uh, in doing some of the environmental reconstruction last summer, we recovered uh, wood from the bottom, a uh, wood pole that dated to 8,900 years ago. Our work has started out with remote work, doing a lot of sonar work, side scan work. We're now moving into a phase where we're doing a lot more scuba work, putting divers actually on the bottom, uh, collecting samples, hopefully collecting artifacts. It's a time period that's very poorly known in Great Lakes prehistory. And the reason is the lake levels were so low, the lake shores, which were the very productive habitats, are therefore all underwater. So most of the intact archaeological sites from this time period, are we, we don't find them on land and it's because they're underwater. The sites that we hope to find are undisturbed by later development. So the kind of structures we're looking for, if they were on land in Michigan, they'd have been moved by farmers, they'd have been covered up by building, by, by construction. The stuff on the bottom is pristine. It's left just, just the way it is. And being in the center of Lake Huron, there's also no sediment covering it. So the archaeological material, even if it's many thousands of years old, is sitting right, right out in the open. The earliest inhabitants are often referred to as Paleo-Indians. They were, they were probably big game hunters who uh, we know they hunted mastodon, they hunted caribou. Um, and this time period we're looking at is when the environment is beginning to change. The ice age has ended, uh, the climate is beginning to moderate, forests are starting to colonize these areas, and in fact there's this transition to what's a, more of an archaic, more of a broad spectrum kind of economy that, we, that starts looking something more similar to modern times.